In this video, we're going to talk about level of detail inside Autodesk Inventor. Now, the level of detail representations that Autodesk Inventor has basically allows you to suppress components. And what that actually will do to your physical memory on your machine is to reduce how much is actually being loaded into your design. When you start thinking about using levels of detail, you might think that if I suppress a component, I won't see it in my drawing view. Well, it unloads it from memory and it basically unloads it from a lot of the intelligence of your design as well. So the real reason you have it is because designs get big. And when designs get big, sometimes your computer can't handle it, especially if you have an older machine. Level of detail was added probably about eight or nine releases ago. And you think about computers eight or nine years ago, if you had a design of this size, it might have a hard time with it. Nowadays, it's actually a piece of cake. So what's changed over the years? Well, Autodesk has added the Express View for assemblies. It's added multi-threading capabilities. Computers in general have gotten faster, especially with larger RAM sets and solid state hard drives. But even with all of that, you might still be shooting yourself in the foot. You might be adding too much detail to components you don't necessarily fabricate. So if you're adding threads to all your bolts and you only buy bolts, why are you adding the threads? You're adding additional memory to your machine that you don't need to consume. What about just over detailing in general? Down here, I have this guy. He's a guy that stands here to let me know that that's where someone should stand during the assembly line. Do I need him in the fabrication designs? No, but I bring him in here to show this is where someone can stand. I don't need to have him for documentation later. I don't need to have him for sending this model out to somebody else, maybe. So I like the ability to suppress him and unload him from memory and just get him out of my design. He takes up unnecessary RAM and space. If we look at this work cell that we have here, at the top level of my design where I'm working on a general arrangement and just kind of laying machines out, I don't care about all these tubes and all these bolts and all the little tiny pieces that go into this. I don't care about the collars and the bushings. So if I'm having performance issues, I can basically turn those components off using levels of detail. Just turning visibility off is not enough. It still keeps that in memory. So this is a way that we can work more effectively in our very large designs. Now, another way that you might be hurting yourself is if you're saving your files on a network for large assemblies. Basically, it has to copy that all the way across the network. And if you save it, it has to push it back the opposite way. So it's always best to work locally if you can. And using programs like Autodesk Vault, which is a data management software which brings local copies to your machine, that's a great way to do that. If you're working up a network, maybe you need to have some sort of other methodology for checking out a design, taking ownership of it, making changes, and putting it back up on the network server. But when you work over the network, it's not always the best idea. Now let's take this idea that I have here of a general arrangement and extrapolate it up to an entire factory. If I have all this detail in just one work cell, imagine if I had six or seven of these and I had that inside of a factory floor layout. Well, I'd like to be able to work with a more manageable size. So using our level of detail tools, we can accomplish that more effectively, not have to wait for things to load or to copy or to be moved around. We can do it a little bit more efficiently. So your biggest takeaway here is that the level of detail usage is primarily dealing with your IAM environment and working effectively inside of it. Yes, you can put it into your drawings. Yes, it can suppress things, but it's not really meant for the drawing side. It's really meant for this side of things. 